So welcome everybody. Uh, today is March the 21st, 2021, and this is Channel in Korea. So when I was tuning in to uh, the, this, the energy of this channeling this morning, um, I was given a, a um, kind of like a visual. The visual was a little bit similar to this. It is really, these are, these are soap bubbles. So they, um, I don't exactly know what the, the meaning is. Um, we'll find out once the channeling gets going. However, what I what came to me is really how how we create reality is really um, we create it out of thin air. That's that's what we do. It's just that we we do it so seamlessly that we don't even know that we are doing it. So that's that's um, that's my take on it. So let's. Let's find out what Kriya has to say about this. So let's just start by doing a little bit of um, meditation just to get me in the mood and get everybody else in the mood as well to be more receptive to the energies that's being, being um, channeled in. So let's start by focusing on our breathing. So breathe in deeply. And then let it all go. And continue to breathe in deeply. And then let go and continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And then also set the intention to put your focus on breathing. Our breath is always with us. It is a very simple means, a very simple tool to assist us in getting more grounded in our own being. And as you are focusing on your breathing, also set the intention to relax. With every breath you breathe in and breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that does not support you to be in this moment. And feel yourself being more and more relaxed. Your shoulders beginning to soften. And also your thoughts beginning to become more settled. And when you feel your body become more relaxed, then the next step is to set the intention to focus on your heart. Shift your focus from the top of your head all the way down to your heart. And when you feel that your focus is in your heart now, then choose, choose to feel unconditional love. 
don't just think it, choose to actually feel it. Whatever unconditional love may mean for you, choose to feel that all over your body. Feel it in your heart. Feel it in your torso. Feel it in your head. Feel it in your arms and your legs. Feel it all over your body. Feel unconditional love. And each time you breathe in, allow that unconditional love to become more intense. Allow yourself to be so full of unconditional love and saturated by unconditional love that this unconditional love is starting to spill out of your body so that unconditional love is not just inside your body it's also around your body. Creating a bubble of energy all around you. Allow this unconditional love coming out of your energetic heart to start to grow even bigger. Next time you breathe in, allow your energetic heart to grow to the size of the room that you're in, filling the whole room with unconditional love. And imagine the whole room you're in filled with unconditional love. That's from your energetic heart. And is including everything that is in this room. every being that is in this room and every piece of furniture, every speck of dust is all filled with unconditional love of your energetic heart. And the next time you breathe in, Allow this energetic heart to grow to be the size of the city that you're in. Imagine the whole city with everyone everything, every animal, every bird, every insect, all that is, all included, all is now surrounded by the unconditional love from your energetic heart.
And the next time you breathe in, allow your energetic heart to grow to be the size of the country that you're in. whole country, every tree, every bird, every being, every animal, everything that is man-made and natural, all that is, all included. in the unconditional love of your energetic heart. And the next time you breathe in, Allow your energetic heart to grow to be the size of earth, all of earth being covered and included in your energetic heart, filled with unconditional love for all of creation that is on Mother Earth and within Mother Earth. Imagine that, create that, feel that. And know that you are the creator of your own experience. You may think that this is just an imagination, that you are just imagining this bubble of unconditional love that's around earth in this moment and that that's all it is, an imagination and that it's not real and we would like to say differently what is real What is real is but your imagination being confirmed and completely validated by you. That is what reality really is. You taking and believing that it is real. Who is to say that your unconditional love is not really around all of the whole earth? Who is to say that? Only you, you are the one that creates this reality and you are the only one that can convince yourself whether this is real or not. According to 
what you have been taught or trained to verify as reality. We would like to let you know that that is not the case. And we can perhaps give you more and be able to persuade you to believe differently what you have been trained to believe as reality, as something that you can touch. If you can feel it with your hands, if you can see it with your eyes, or if you can hear it with your ears, or if you can taste it, in your mouth, that, that is what you think of as real. And that is not the case. What is real? This earth, this whole earth. If we use that, you can see it. When was the last time you saw earth, all of earth? When was the last time you talked to all of the people that is living or supposed to be living on earth? When was the last time you were able to smell the smells of earth or taste all of earth? Never. Oh, I should say, rarely is there a person who has ever done that. Each of us, according to what it is, that we want to experience, we create that part of this playground we call it Earth to experience. We experience the part of the Earth that we truly resonate with and want to experience. And for me, or for you, for each one of you, that part of the earth exists, is real for you. And the others, are they real? How real are they? Do they actually exist in your reality? We have been trained to believe that. 
It does. Do you really believe in that? Reality is truly not what you think it is. We are energy. Everything is energy. How do we see energy? Do you think you actually see energy? Do you think you actually see anything outside of you? You have been trained to see certain things and not others. The reality that you see, you hear, you can touch, and you can smell, they are all simply just different forms of energy that your mind has interpreted to be a certain way and so created that illusion for you to see, to feel, to hear, and to smell all smoke and mirror. That is what reality really is. Reality is simply energies being interpreted by your mind. Let that sink in. When you can start to adjust how you interpret energies. When you can start to retrain yourself, retrain your mind, to focus on what it is that you truly want to focus on to make real, to start to see and touch and smell and hear for yourself. Like for example, that's the unconditional love that you intentionally surround this world, this whole earth with, is actually real.
than everyone right now that is also playing on this playground called Earth will be able to feel an extra layer of unconditional love wrapped around them. When you have retrained yourself to know that your intentions are real. And that the thoughts in your mind can truly create reality. A reality that not only you but also people around you can start to feel and be able to tune into as well. When you start to retrain yourself that that is real, that your thoughts are real. Then you will start to see it. You will start to hear it. And other people will also hear it as well will also feel it as though they were touching a table when actually it's only thoughts, your thoughts. And when you send a thought of unconditional love that someone else halfway around the world will be able to feel this extra blanket of warmth that feels like what unconditional love feels like for them. Now that is what you will be able to do when you truly start to retrain yourself to be mindful to be mindful of every one of your thought every thought that you focus on, that you give your attention to, that you give your energy to, that your energy is what creates reality. You are that powerful, each and every one. Each and every one has energy. You are, you are energy. You are the creative source that commands energy. You are the creative source.
that use your intention, attention, and thoughts to create. You create it with your thought first. No matter what it is that you're trying to create, you first create it with your thoughts. Not just a random thought. Not just a thought that has no meaning or purpose, but a thought. That you have weighed the pros and cons in your mind. A well thought a well-constructed thought, a thought that you have spent time in to perfect, and you have spent your energy, your intention, and your attention And when you release that thought into the ether, into the field of energy, the field of energy will do its best to bend to your thought, to start to create out of nothing. From your thought, from your intention and attention. When you truly hold such a well-constructed thought long enough for the universe to get the message. It will start to respond. You may not see it at first. At first, it may just be like a bubble But it's not just any bubble. This bubble has intention and attention. It is like a blueprint for the universe to start to gather energy, start to shape to start to attract the co-creators that's going to assist you consciously or unconsciously to assist you in bringing about and creating Creating something out of the blueprint of your thought. Something that you can actually 
see, feel, hear, and smell, and taste. That is how creators create. That is how every creator creates. Retrain yourself. Train yourself about what reality truly is. Reality is simply your mind interpreting all the thoughts and intention has been accumulated. Over time, a lot of the times, those are not your thoughts, not your intention. They are thoughts and intention put in your mind by someone else. And that is okay. That is okay to start with, to practice with. And you have had enough practice now. Now it is time. Now it is time Now it is time to start your own creation Create a new reality for yourself a new reality that is free of others' imprints. A reality that supports you, that nurtures you. That is going to give you purpose, give you a reason to want to wake up and start a new day. A new reality that is going to encourage you to want to play, to want to co-create. Give yourself time. Set aside time for yourself. Switch off the television. Switch off 
your computer, switch off your cell phones. Block out time for yourself. Give yourself time. To create this blueprint. This blueprint for the reality. The new reality that is truly going to nurture you. Not just to survive. Not just to be pleasant. but a new reality. That is going to be exciting. What reality do you truly want to create? Yes, you can create reality. You are a creative source. Remember that. Feel that. Be that. You are the creator of your own reality. You are not some pushover that is trying to survive. You are the creator. Nothing exists until you create it. That is who you truly are. And you have been trained to forget who you truly are. And that is why we are here to remind you that you are the creator. You are the creator of your life. Your life is yours to create. Nothing is too big, nor too small. You can create anything.
that really is the biggest hurdle. The most interesting challenge that you face now is that you forgot that nothing exists until you create it. You forgot that that is who you are. It is time to remember. It is time to remind you again who you truly are. You're the creator of your experience and nothing exists for you until you create it for yourself. So take time, take time to look within. Take time to create your blueprint, your floor plan. How do you want your reality to look like? Start to map out what you truly want to see in your reality. And each time you see a small piece of what you have mapped out becoming real. then you know it's time to go. And create an even bigger and more exciting plan of reality. And keep on reviewing and updating that floor plan, that blueprint of your reality. At first, it may just look like words and characters string together on the piece of paper. Your whole reality all written out on paper, on pieces of paper. Nothing more than just a soap bubble that is floating in midair. That's how reality started. A thought, a well-constructed thought that has been constructed 
with intention and attention to all the details, to all the possible consequences. Map out your detail, map out your reality and release, release it into the ether, into the universe. and command the universe to start to bend energy, to construct reality according to your plan. And that is who you truly are, the creator of your experience. We are not teasing you. We are spirit. We are spirit that loves you. We are spirit that is here to remind you of who you truly are. You're the creator. You're the creator of your own reality. And nothing exists until you create it. You so seamlessly create this reality for yourself and then you conveniently forgot that you're the one that created it. It is now time for you to become more intentional, intentional of your thoughts, of what it is that you truly want to create. Create as the creator. And that is all we want to remind you of this evening. We want to remind you of who you are. And that your unconditional love is being felt all over earth by everyone, by everything, by every speck of dust, because you willed it so, you created it so. Feel that, that is who you truly are.
Thank you for giving us this opportunity. And thank you for the unconditional love. It is very much appreciated. And heartfelt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>